Hi everyone. Is he taken? Cool. <laughs> I mean, who am I kidding? I'm the one that uh, that uh, is playing with this one. Anyway, I would like to talk to you about a very important topic that's quite near and dear to my heart. And it's something I want to talk to for a long time, but I haven't had the chance because I didn't actually have the courage until right now. It's something called Asperger's. It, I've actually, and actually I'm born with it. Now you see, for those of you who don't know, Asperger's, it's actually part of the autism spectrum. It's actually high, high functioning. And it's uh, basically, it prevents us from being able to be sociable or empathize with people. It's not like it's actually like something, a disease that actually came upon us. Never ever use that as a disease because it's not a disease. It's actually a form of gift. Let me explain. Now you see, the thing with Asperger's, uh, from the early stage, from at least from the beginning, uh, we're not able to properly communicate with others. And we, we actually don't have any senses at all. Like we can say everything, we can be honest about everything and not even consider how a person would feel until later. But that's not because we actually are mean or cruel. It's just how we are. We're not able to empathize with people. If the right person actually helps us, we're able to actually communicate with a lot of people. Like for me, I can barely say hi, but that's only my point of view. Bear in mind, one Asperger's is not like the other. Don't take me as a major example of how all Asperger's act because everyone's different. Kind of like snowflakes, basically. And no two snowflakes are alike. People often think of it as a curse, but for me, I actually think of it as a blessing because Thanks to Asperger's, I was able to not only learn how to communicate with people much better than I used to. Believe me, I actually used to be the type of guy who would, would look at, look, have eye contact at the very ground, not even face people. And often I panic whenever I say something wrong. I still do, but not as much as before. But I was able to build up amazing friendships that last for so many years. And being able to touch the hearts of millions. I actually was able to make a short film, I was able to take photographs, I was able to do uh, flexibility, uh, crossfit, boxing and many others. And it's thanks to people that I've been surrounded with. I know society often expects us to change, but the reality is that we, can't, we, we don't need change. And I'm glad that I'm actually part of the world that, that, does, actually, uh, that does care about me, that wants to help me as much as it possibly can. I know it's quite difficult for, uh, for, for, some, uh, for many people to deal with us, but trust me, if you actually, if you ever interact with someone, uh, interact with Asperger's, not only Asperger's, with anyone actually in general, if it's, if it's a, a, a neurotypical, which we, we refer to people who don't actually have any of those, or a super neurotype, something that I came up with just recently, you'll, understand, you'll get to know that we're, we're almost as amazing as everybody else. Actually, in fact, we're, we're quite unique in our own way. And I hope that, uh, that this will actually help, help you understand us a bit better. I hope this message goes through to everyone or anyone that, that actually wants to know about, more about it. You can actually uh, send me a message or anything like that. Just let me know. And I'm really happy to explain to you. This has been Ahmed Al-Mullah, also known as the Mad Gentleman. Signing off and please stay safe. Bye.